I thank God that despite the anxiety he has scheduled this time that we may still learn about him in the name of Jesus and glory to his name. Na kukaribisha tena kwa sababu itakuwa na fasi njema Mungu ametupatia tuweze kujua mambo ya self awareness knowing your personality type and God will help us so that we can be able to know who we are in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that we are all well in the name of our Lord. He has helped us personally. I have been blessed and still born again. I still thank him that I am alive at such a time as this. As I am waiting also eagerly for the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, we are trusting in our God. He has been a faithful God for the past week. We have been anxiously waiting on him. We have patiently waited on him. And he will not disappoint us because he is a good God. So we continue giving him the glory even now. The Bible says not to be anxious about anything, but by prayer that we present and we make our requests known unto him so that we can be able to be guarded by his peace that surpasses all human understanding, that our minds and our hearts be guarded in the name of Jesus Christ. That is what I declare for us all as Kenyans. May God help us to still wait patiently on him. May we keep the peace that he will give us. He is the peace. He is Jehovah Shalom. And we know that he is able to be sovereign even now. So we are trusting in him. Na ningetaka tuweze kuanzia kwa nafasi njema ya kuweza kumuabudu huyu mungu ambaye ni mzuri sana. Mungu ambaye ni mku. Mungu ambaye habadiliki. Even now he is still God of Abraham. Even now he is still God of Isaac and Jacob. Even now he is still God who is the creator of heaven and earth. Even now he is sovereign, he is mighty, he is capable, he is able. Haja badilika, he is not like a man to change his mind in the name of Jesus. We are trusting in that good God. So ningetaka tuweze, my dear viewer, go before the Lord and just exalt his name. We begin by adoring who he is. We know him as a loving father. We know him as our creator. We know him because he loves us. He cares for us. Everything that is troubling us, he knows. He is the God that has a future plan for us. He has a hope for us. He has a future for us. We can only expect much from him because he is able to do exceeding abundantly. So ningetaka tuweze kwanda mbele yake. Tuweze kumshukuru kwa maana ye ni mungu maminifu. That we can tell him thank you for our country Kenya. We can tell him thank you for the session that he gave us to be able to go cast our votes. We can tell him thank you for the process that has gone on about telling the votes. We can tell him thank you that there has remained peace. This is God that can only do that. Let us be found worthy of his praises in the name of Jesus. Tumuambie kwamba yeye anastahili. Yeye ni mungu muaminifu. Tumuwele Jehovah we gaimu nene. We gaimu wega. We gaimu iwada. We gaimu heani wa idoshio the jega. Na tuwaka kukwerani wega. Bona tumekuja kusema ni asanti. Kwamba hata katika ibada yetu ya, ya jana. Mungu aliweza kuwa pamoja nasi. We, were, we are having an anointing, a, a holy communion partaking. And we tell God that if... It is finished at the cross. Even now, there is nothing that the enemy can do that Jesus already paid for. So tuweze kumuambia mungu asanti kwa upendo kama hu. Love like this Jesus. This kind of love that you suffered because of Kenya. You suffered because of my life. You suffered because of my family. You suffered because of my peace. God, I give you all the glory. Jesus, I give you all the glory. Na tuweze kumuambia asanti. Asanti kwa nafasi ambayo tunamgojea mungu. Asanti kwa kuwa kwamba tunaeza mtegemea huyu mungu. The Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. We are those people that Jehovah will renew our strength. We shall not be weary. We shall not faint. We are the people that God will renew our strength in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray that God will give us abundant peace even afterwards. Because the Bible says in John 10.10 10, that the thief comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus, he has come that we may have life and have it in abundance. Even after the pronunciation, after the announcement of the president, we are still going to have life in abundance in Jesus Christ. All, in us, all is not lost. We are going to have peace. We are going to have abundance in our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christians be encouraged out there that as we wait upon the announcement from a man, let us trust in God. We have been declared as children of God. We can only wait upon the Lord Almighty in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tuweza kumuambia buwana, 
future ya Kenya iko mikononi mwako future yetu iko mikononi mwako future ya watoto wetu iko mikononi mwako future ya familia zetu za Kenya bwana iko mikononi mwako katika jina takatifu la Yesu we are giving you the glory oh god because we know that you shall do us good for you are a good god in the name of Jesus we can take a minute to be able to pray for the spiritual awakening of ourselves that we can be able Mungu atusaidie because of this program because of this show today that God will give us a spiritual awakening to be able to understand who we are as individuals as as children in our God Almighty tuweze kumwambia Bwana nifungue Bwana nifunulie nionyeshe jinsi ambavyo umeniumba fearfully and wonderfully oh god how you have engraved the name oh god almighty that you have given me in the palm of your hands you know me by name oh god i want to understand how you know me i want to understand myself i want to have a spiritual awakening of who i am in this kingdom of god in the name of jesus i want to know my strengths i want to know my weaknesses i want to know everything that you have knit together oh god in me i want to know my thoughts my behaviors my character god i want to know who i am so that i can be be able to do the exploits that you have promised in the name of jesus christ god i pray that in the name of our lord jesus christ every viewer that will watch this show father you are going to open their eyes you are going to open their ears to hear you oh god tutaweza kujitambua ndani yako mfalme tutaweza kujielewa zaidi tutaweza kujipenda jinsi ambavyo umetuumba kwa mfano wako ambao ni mwema katika jina takatifu la yesu bwana tunatangaza kwamba every spirit of arrogance every spirit of pride every spirit of fear of knowing ourselves every spirit of confusion that suppresses our mind to understand who we are we are coming against it in the name of Jesus i'm declaring that god there is freedom today your word says that jehovah god that the that for christ is the spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i declare liberty in our minds to know ourselves in our hearts to understand ourselves that these bodies will conform to our knowledge in the name of jesus christ that we will love who we are in you oh god for the glory and honor of your precious name that we can be able to bear fruit in your kingdom jehovah in the name of our lord jesus christ bwana utusaidie maana wewe unatujua zaidi maana wewe unaelewa the bible says he knows us he knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb that is a god who knows us and he will reveal who we are by his spirit in the name of jesus tumwambie bwana asante kwa wewe ufunuo ambao utatupatia siku ya leo katika jina la yesu tuweze kupatia mungu utukufu wote that our producer has helped me to be able to come up with a name for this program the eagles eye program this is a god given and i know that god almighty will help us let us pray that god will be able to help this program the eagles eye program that kwamba wakati ambapo tunaweza kuwasilisha kufanya haya mambo mungu aweze kujidhihirisha katika jina la yesu just like just like the ego is that we can be able to focus on the word of god that we can be able to soar up like the eagles in the name of jesus that we can be able to embrace our strengths and be able to live in this world for the glory and honor of the precious name of our god so be inspired that our god has had us and he is with us in the name of our lord jesus christ bwana tunaomba haya yote tukisema wewe ni mwema wewe ni mtakatifu hakuna mungu kama wewe uabudiwe winuliwe utukuzwe na ni katika jina takatifu la yesu mokozi wetu tunaomba na kushukuru amen praise the lord almighty declare a wonderful Amen. Thank Jesus that he has given us an opportunity to be in his presence today in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God loves us so much. So he is a good God. And I thank God because in our the Eagles Eye program tutakuwa tunaweza ku discuss mambo ya kingdom parenting, mambo ya understanding our children, mambo ya self awareness like we are doing today and then we can be having worship and prayers for all those things that we are learning about in the name of Jesus so God will help us he is the beginner of good things and i know he will accomplish his purpose amen 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 we have been learning the personality types we have last time tuliwezanga ku discuss that the human character personality ni ile the the descriptive of a person according to how they think to how they do things how they behave ambavyo mtu anafikiria na kufanya mambo yake ya kila siku and the personality of a person mara mingi inakuanga consistent since wakati maybe ulizaliwa inakuanga consistent there is a certain personality you have that has not changed over the years kuna ile description ambayo mtu akiulizwa jambi kemani ni nani 
atasema number one, talkative, number two, this other thing, number three, this other thing. There are those consistent things ambazo zineza ku describe wewe as a person. So God will help us to be able to understand this. And last time to discuss that these personality types, kuna mtu anaitua Maya Briggs na anapeananga a personality test. Ni mtu ali create theory ya kuweza ku explain how human be- behave, how human beings behave. And they came up with, with the description that a person can be able to describe according to how they are energetic. They can be extroverts or introverts. That is category number one. Ikona introverts na ikona extroverts. Number two category ni vile ambavyo mtu anaweza kuprocess information. When you are given an information about something, how you process it. It depends that you can either be a sensor or you can either be an intuiter. Unaweza kuwa mtu ambaye lazima urelate na the five senses or maybe you have to just deal with your imagination. So there is the sensor and there is the intuiter. And then the third category is how you make decisions. As a human being, life is about making choices. It's about making decisions. So how a person can make a decision? Inaweza kuwa descriptive. Do you make your decisions out of how you feel? Or out of what you think, logic. Ile kitu ina make sense, ndio uta act upon it. Ile kitu ambayo una feel, ndio uta act upon it. So in the third category, tunakuanga na feelers and thinkers. Praise the Lord. And then in the last category, tunakuanga na the description of human. According to how they organize work. Or they plan things. Or they do things. So here we have judges and perceivers. Judges ni wale watu ambao wanapenda detailed structure wale ambao ha, they can't work without rules but perceivers are these people that are spontaneous if you tell them to go this way they go if you tell them no let's go back wanaenda but judges ni wale they stick to the plan so those four categories kila four kila category kona mbili so when you do two times two times two times two it brings up the 16 personality types that we have and each and every one of us ikona kila yambacho wewe Uko more than. Maybe me am more than an extrovert than an introvert. Nikisama hivyo na manisha, I would prefer being around people more than being alone. So ineza kuwa kwamba uneza kuwa na both characteristics, but there is one that is dominant over the other. And when you look at the word of God in Isaiah 49 verse 16, God tells us that the word says that he has engraved our names in the palms of his hands so this is a good god that specifically knows you everything about you because there is so much in a name when god says that he has engraved our names in the palm of his hands there is so much in a name so mungu akiniangalia mimi jambi kemani in the palm of his hands he knows everything about me and kawaida sa zingine tukitaka kufanya kitu maybe kama ujaandika kitu kwa karatasi ndio usisahau you will inscribe something on on your palm. Ndiyo, maybe every time you do this, you'll see something and you'll remember. Ah, nilikuwa ni in the supermarket. Maybe you had written someone's name. So, ukiangalia yo jina utakumbuka nilikuwa ni muongelesha ama ni mpigie or something. So, when God says that he has engraved our names in the palm of his hands, that is to tell you that he knows you deeply. He knows that he cannot forget you. He cannot forget who you are. He cannot forget the strength that he has put in you. He cannot forget to use those strengths for his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. So, anataka kwamba ta sisi tuweze kuelewa. Hilo jina ambalo ame inscribe. Hilo jina ambalo ame engrave. What is that? Who am I in that palm of the hand of God? Who am I that God has specifically known me? Praise the Lord. So ni vizuri to feel like royalty, that God, an almighty God, a big, big, mighty God, the creator of the universe, knows you specifically.